We're going to be palpating the muscle tibialis anterior, anterior compartment of the leg here. So we're going to start up towards the upper attachments and origin, um, but we are going to fire it off just to help us orient and find fiber direction. So this muscle is a prime dorsiflexor, but it also does a lot of inversion at our subtalar joint. So I'm going to have you repeat that a few times. Great. And I'm going to take a look and just see what I can see, first of all. So we can definitely see some muscle orientation and fiber right in this area here. So this is a part of our origin. Okay, so I have the anterior border and shaft of the tibia. I'm going to drop onto the lateral surface right in this area. This is a part of our origin. As we work our way up, it starts to go just below what is known as the oblique line of the tibia and it gets onto the lateral tibial condyle. And again, can you do that dorsiflexion for me? Great. And then deep to this area in between the tibia and fibula is the interosseous membrane. And depending on your source, sometimes it talks about the fascia covering over top of it is a part of its origin as well. So the muscle belly is in the proximal half of the leg. Again, I'm gonna ask her to hold this up in this position. And as I follow it down around the midway point, right in here, I'm losing the belly and it's starting to turn to a tendon. So this is muscle belly versus the rest of it's gonna be more tendinous. I need to relax. I'm actually gonna roll the leg out towards me a little bit here, and I'm gonna add some resistance on the top of the foot. Good, and I can follow this tendon down. It's gonna be quite obvious on the foot, and as we approach the insertion, it's going to cover two bones in the foot, here and here. So we can follow up the first metatarsal to the base, which is one of its attachments, and the bone just proximal to that is the medial cuneiform. So the tendon goes down and attaches more on the medial plantar aspect of those two bones. So again, it'll help pull up like so for that inversion and then lift the foot up, which is the dorsiflexion. So dorsiflexion of the ankle and this inversion at the subtalar joints. And that's going to conclude our palpation of tibialis anterior.